Next, we're gonna do a ponytail, and this is really fun because it makes it, it takes the uh, fear out of doing, uh, doing a ponytail. Can we admit that those are the hardest things to do? Why they're the hardest things to do is there's either a good ponytail or a bad ponytail. Not really uh, something in between. So I wanna break this down in a way where it's just steps, just like we're cutting hair, on how to put the hair up. I would take a long time to get this hair into a ponytail. If I just had to put it into one grip, I'm gonna struggle with that to get all the grain going one direction. So I'm gonna show you a little trick to help you with that. So I'm gonna be using Infinium 4, Volume Entry, I'm oh, sorry, Infinium 4 and Volume Envy Extra. I have my tail comb, elastics, hair pins, and U pins. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my tail, tail comb, tail brush here, and I'm gonna divide the hair in two. So I'm going to have, I want this centered on her back. So I'm gonna do this straight down the center. If you want this ponytail to sit to the side, if you want the ponytail to sit on top, you're gonna to just do the same thing, but divide it where you need to. I want this ponytail to sit right about here so this is where I'm gonna focus on. So I'm dividing the head in two. And right where I want that ponytail, I'm gonna take half circle from one side and a half circle from the other side. So all I have now is a circle section dead center in the back. I'm going to take an elastic and I'm going to put this little tiny circle section into a ponytail. This is gonna be my guide for my ponytail. Okay, now I have my little baby ponytail in there. So here's where the artistry comes into play. I want to divide and conquer. And the hardest place to put the hair up is in the nape. Because what I don't want is to have a saggy nape, right? You know what that looks like when they start looking around and it looks like they have a full diaper down there. I know that's really crass, but that's what it looks like to me. So I'm gonna be pulling all the hair up this direction. So I'm gonna do a diagonal forward parting, separating what's above that middle of that ponytail and what's below. So right from the center to that ponytail. I'm going to put the back up first. That's the hardest part. So let's just get it done right at the beginning. Let's make life really easy. So I'm gonna take my Volume Envy Extra and I'm gonna put it right at, on the hair, right at the base. So we remember the bonds that we break when we wet the hair are the hydrogen bonds. And those bonds being broken allow us to reshape this hair into whatever direction we want it to go. When it dries, it sets. There we go. The key to not getting that saggy bottom is I want my model to look straight up. Because if I pull this tight 
and pull this into a ponytail with her looking up. When she looks down, it's only gonna get tighter rather than loosening up. So I'm gonna take another big elastic. Get that nice and tight. So what I don't wanna do is this and pull it tight because then I'm gonna have lumps at the base. So what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of hair from the center and hold it in my left, my right hand and I'm pushing in with my left hand. That's gonna get this pony, the rubber, rubber band or elastic closer to the head. So now I have a very tight nape. So I'm gonna let you see that up close. So if you remember that diagonal forward we put in here is with the grain of how I'm gonna be putting the hair up. So just like we did at the nape, I'm taking my volume and be extra and I'm getting that all in that hair. So not all alcohols are cre created equal. So why am I using this mousse? This mousse has a lot of hold. It also dries quickly. So what's great is there is a little bit of alcohol that helps it dry quickly. If I were to use water or something really wet, this is not gonna dry and it's gonna take forever for me to finish. So what I'm doing is I'm just brushing this out and I'm getting all of those hairs the direction I want them to lay. And I'm just getting the grain exactly where I want it. Now I'm gonna create a bungee from my elastic. So I'm gonna take a bobby pin and put it on one side of my bobby pin and take the other bob, another bob pin. And now I have a bungee. So if you could see when I let go, I already have direction pulled into the hair. And that volume and be extra has helped it dry into place. brushing everything into my hands. I'm gonna take my elastic and my, bum, uh, my bob pin. Let me get closer here. So I'm gonna place my bob pin crisscross through the base of that little ponytail that's under there. I'm gonna hold one bobby pin with my knuckle there and I'm gonna Stretch this around. Crisscross applesauce with my pins. Now I have my ponytail. So let's say you have some hairs that are maybe a little uneven here. So you could take your tail comb, or I'm gonna take a pin here, and this is just the round of the pin. 
And I'm just going to comb some of those hairs that are going a weird direction with the tail comb or the pin. If I take a brush, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of tangles that are gonna sit right here. This is just like a magic eraser and it just smooths out that hair. So there's my ponytail. So from here, if I wanted to wear a ponytail, I wanted her to wear just a ponytail, I'm gonna take a little bit of hair my Infinium 4 and I'm going to wrap that tail around the base of the ponytail. I'm going to use a hairpin, a U-pin to, to um, cover that, to, to lock that in. If I keep this straight and I push this right through, you're going to see it stick through the other side. So what I'm going to do is just curve this to the head shape. So I'm just using my thumb. Now when I do this, I'm gonna get that tail. It's gonna be hidden under the hair because it's the same shape of the head. So there's no U-pin sticking out the other side. So there we go. So from here, if I wanna curl and then let it cool and brush it out, I could have a really cute Barbie, Barbie ponytail which is awesome. If I want a bun from here, I can just take and twist. And there we have a bun. If I want to use a braid, braid this and then pull that around, that works too. My little tail's coming out. Let me get that in there. Again, hot tip, curve the U-pin to the shape of the head. And now you can lock that in there. You won't see the pin on the other side. There's no pin over here. So there's a ponytail, a bun. You can do a whole bunch of stuff back here with what's left. I want to do, show you how to do a proper chignon. And this is a really cool method to do it really quickly. So from here, I've seen people where they'll take and just wind up the hair and tuck that in. But then I can see the ponytail base. I don't think that looks that pretty, to be honest with you. It's not bad but I don't wanna see the construction of a, of a up style. If I can hide it all I can, then that's gonna work really well. So I'm gonna show you a trick. So just like how we created a bungee for that ponytail, I'm gonna take a bob pin, put on one end of the, of the elastic, and then another bob pin, there we go. I'm going to brush all of this up. So I want to create structure for my chignon to sit. So again, I just pulled this all the way up. maybe about a quarter inch or less above the ponytail base. I'm gonna put through underneath my bob pin. I'm gonna stretch over the top, crisscross applesauce. Now, when I lay this over the top, I can't see the construction of my chignon. All I see is the hair fountaining, cascading over the top. So you can see with that little shelf that we put in there, 
I can't see that ponytail anymore. So that looks really clean for my next step. So I want to roll this under. So I can take a little bit of my back homing just to fill it in. Underneath, not on top. Always underneath. That just gives me a little grip. And I'm gonna use my mixed bristle flat brush. It's like a Mason Pearson. And just smooth over the top. I want to do this without 10,000 pins. So I'm going to take another piece of elastic. And I'm just going to collect the ends into a little tiny pony. Cool. So you can see that little ponytail there. Now, all I have to do is roll and pin that ponytail, that little tiny elastic ponytail I just put in, into the hair. So now, that was one pin that secured this. take a couple more pins and just secure it to the base. Use as many pins as you need to. Just make sure that they're hidden away. We don't want to see any pins. I want to I want them to see that it looks like it's almost held up by magic, not by a prayer. There we go. So there we did that chignon. So we went from a ponytail into a chignon really quickly in like 20 minutes. So here is one up style into two. Again, we could have done a bun, we could have done a whole bunch of things, but here we have this chignon ready to go. So let's say you wanted this shape, but wanted some height. This ponytail that I took, I would break it into three. And just like I did on that first up style, I would separate this here, forward, pull the base down, the nape, pull the second part, this middle part of the hair back, and then up on top, I could put curls or back comb and then brush that over so we have more height. So that gives us an option. Uh, by all means, feel free to call me this week if you have any other questions on this, but I'm gonna show you one more. This looks really sharp. One more style. All right, cool. Again, if you have any questions so far, please free, feel free to reach out.